Marcus Brown. I'm in Berlin and I'm here with Sports Shoes in preparation for the 2022 Berlin Marathon. I'll be here September 25th with lots of other runners. This will be my third Berlin Marathon. The first one around 4.04, the second one around 3.01. And in my third Berlin Marathon, I'm planning to beat my PB of 2.56. In this training series, we're gonna cover several things. First, in this one, we're gonna talk about some tips that you need to know about running your first Berlin Marathon, or if you run Berlin, some tips to help you run your fastest Berlin Marathon. In next episodes, we're gonna talk about nutrition and some training, so it's really gonna help you run your fastest Berlin Marathon. Tip number one, we're at the start line. So I'm gonna give you some advice about things that you can expect. Behind me, you can see the victory column, also known as Ziga Zoila. Now, before you get there, it's gonna be a long road and you've got all the pens stacked up. So get into the right pen first. Don't worry, don't get too stressed because the roads are really wide. And the time you actually head towards the victory column, try to keep your running line quite tight because obviously, the more you zigzag, the more you're going to add to your running time. So enjoy it. Don't get too stressed. You've got plenty of time and you've got plenty of space. Tip number two. One of the cool things about Berlin is that the start and finish are in close proximity to each other. Now we are standing right next to the Brandenburg Gate. And one of the biggest misconceptions is that that's the finish. And a lot of people make the mistake of getting here and doing a sprint finish, but they forget actually the finish is further behind me, closer towards the victory column. So come through the gate, get some good photos, but make sure you save something in your legs. So head towards the victory column and, you know, give it your all. But you'll see behind me, you can see way in the distance, it's, you've still got a way to go. Tip number three, we are here in the Tiergarten. And it's a really significant point in Berlin. It's a place that connects quite a few places for the Berlin Marathon. So you've got the start and the finish. We've got the gate, we've got the victory column. We've got some other significant points as well. We've got the Reichstag as well. So that's where you're gonna pick up your medals and you know celebrate and get your medal engraved. And also if you wanna get a shakeout run done, it's a really good place to do it because one, you're close to everything and you get to see you know, the marathon be set up and it's like really a nice place, almost a disconnect from the city um, pre-race. So away from the craziness, a bit of calm before you start the excitement for the marathon the next day. Tip number four. So between 30 and 35K is a significant point of the marathon. This is where you start to go slightly downhill Although Berlin isn't a hilly course, this is where it gets a bit faster, so prepare for that. And it's where you leave the south of Berlin and you start to move back towards the city. Around 33k is around Kuzdam, which is a very popular shopping district, almost like Oxford Street in London, so definitely check that out post-race. The final tip, tip number five. We're going to be at the iconic Potsdamer Platz. Now, that is a really iconic part of the course. You're going to pass it around 35k and 40k. It, historically, it actually divided part of Germany so between the east and the west. So there's a small part on the sidewalk where you can actually stand and you see that bit if you want to get some photos. But for race day, it's a really great place to be cheered on around about 36k. You're going to be enthused by the amazing crowd and the music there. So. Uh, keep a, keep your eye out for that point. So that's our five tips for the Berlin Marathon. If you want any more tips on the Berlin Marathon or any other marathon-specific training, please check out the description. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please do subscribe, like, share. If you like it, your community will definitely like it as well, so we'd appreciate that. Thank you and see you in the next episode.